speak with Primal. We're here with Ben and Simon from Young Guns today. How you doing? We're at 2000 Trees. How are you guys today? Yeah, very good. It's nice to be here in the nice sun. Yeah, it's like a holiday, isn't it? <laughs> so, uh, you guys had a bit of a stint in the US uh, a while ago for doing the, the latest record. What What was the experience like, just going to a different different area and rather than crazy, being here? Man. Like, it's America's, I mean, it's such a big place. So that's something like the first thing we learned. Like, we started touring there about three years ago and you don't, you know, all the drives are like 10 hours and like, you know, it's a big place, but it's crazy how you go from state to state. The, the everything changes a lot more than it would you know country to country in Europe and that's really it's quite exciting you know we get treated really well over there and um, it's definitely uh, you know everyone over there's like English people like to drink lots of booze and, uh, and they go they go crazy for the rock don't they? yeah yeah they do like they love it over there. yeah it's definitely a big like the radio rock scene is really strong over there it's got like, loyal fans yeah it really does actually and like it's it's really refreshing to see like you know like we'll go to places we've never been in the middle of the midwest somewhere and like people sing our songs back to us and like you know there's power of radio over there you know and it's 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 really good to see um so like i remember seeing you guys supporting like fight star back in like i think oh, it was, like yeah. 2009 yeah. so that's like the early days and like you guys seem to be from the records that have come out they don't stand still they seem to move in a different direction yeah. um is that something you actively seek to do or is that just seems to come what yeah, what happens absolutely. like i guess like for us like we're, we're never a band that we always want to kind of push ourselves like creatively and like you know personally like my tastes change quite a lot obviously yeah. I, I love all the same you know the, the, the bands that i grew up with that will always stay there but like i'm constantly being influenced and like you know inspired by like new acts like whether from different kind of genres so like so that definitely pays like, we don't feel like we're a, we're a band that is like entrapped in this kind of like genre. Like, I feel like you know we're just a bunch of dudes that like play our instruments. So like we yeah. just want to write the best songs that we love that we think are cool. Yeah. And so we're constantly been inspired by like loads of different music. So like, I think naturally, like from from album to album, like we just kind of like naturally grow and like write songs that we feel are cool and that we love at that particular time. And it could be yeah, exactly. It could it be the music shows, that we're yeah. listening to. It could be like the experiences that we've had. Do you know what I mean? So like. It's not like a, a conscious decision. It's just natural to like what what we feel is cool and what we feel is good. Um, do you guys, when you say first went over to the US for a long stint, um, did you ever sort of worry about the return home, whether people would still be waiting for you guys or anything like yeah, that? Yeah, of course. Like you, you've always got that that worry. You know, it's it's like this this day and age. You know, it's very with the where the socials are and stuff like you know you can be forgotten quite quickly and like and obviously we've had, we spent a lot of time in America because it's such a big place and we were lucky enough to get our foot in the door like we had to spend some time over there and we were very like aware of the time and because we were desperate to come back here and play and obviously the album you know took a while to write but we we just we always had the belief that once we were at that point where you know whatever happens once we release an album of good songs then that we feel like it would everything will come back into place and it, it really feels like that and it's really it's so exciting to be back it's nice to actually come back and like seeing people that we've seen you know three years ago when we did headline shows yeah. and, and some of these people actually travel to to america or to like wherever we're playing to, which is like insane in its own right but like it is nice to come back and do like a tour and like everyone sing the words all, like, all the old songs and all the new songs yeah. it's kind of like it just reassures yeah. us that like the fan base is still solid you know yeah it's great yeah, so like um, so the last final quick question uh, what's the what's going to be your plans for the rest of the, the year coming forth then? Um, we've got a few more festivals uh, we go out to Poland we go to Taiwan weirdly um, and then uh, back and forth uh, here in America really we've got the UK tour in October yeah. um, and we're going to go out to Europe again as well which is exciting and uh, yeah just basically touring touring which is uh, good and in between whenever we've got time off and when we're on the road we're going to be writing as well we don't want to wait another three years for an album so i don't think anyone does so uh yeah we'll uh yeah we'll push on that as well so working hard